today I will share my favorite quote from Joseph Smith. He's a Mormon church leader. It is a time-honored adage that love begets love. Let us pour forth love, show forth our kindness unto all mankind, and the Lord will reward us with everlasting increase. Cast our bread upon the waters, and we shall receive it after many days, increased to a hundredfold. Tell the people to be humble and faithful, and be sure to keep the Spirit of the Lord, and it will lead them right. Be careful and not turn away the small, still voice. It will teach you how to do and where to go. It will yield the fruits of the kingdom. Tell the brethren to keep their hearts open to conviction, so that when the Holy Ghost comes to them, their hearts will be ready to receive it. He can tell the Spirit of the Lord from all other spirits. It will whisper peace and joy to their souls. It will take malice, hatred, strife, and all evil from their hearts, and their whole desire will be to do good, bring forth righteousness, and build up the kingdom of God. A man filled with the love of God is not content with blessing his family alone, but ranges through the whole world in answer to bless the whole human race. The best way to obtain truth and wisdom is not to ask from books, but to go to God in prayer and obtain divine teaching. Take away the Book of Mormon and the Revelations, and where is our religion we have now? Great opposition and much persecution followed the believers of the Book of Mormon's authenticity, but it had not come to pass that truth had sprung out of the earth, and righteousness had looked down from heaven, so we fear not our opponents, knowing that we had both truth and righteousness on our side, that we had both the Father and the Son, because we had the doctrine of Christ and abided in them. The Book of Mormon is a record of the forefathers of our western tribes of Indians, having been found through the ministration of a holy angel and translated into our own language by the gift and power of God, after having been hid up in the earth for the last 1400 years, containing the word of God which was delivered unto them. I did translate the Book of Mormon by the gift and power of God, and it is before the world, and all the powers of earth and hell can never rob me of the honor of it. I told the brethren that the Book of Mormon was the most correct of any book on earth, and the keystone of our religion, and a man would get nearer to God by abiding its precepts than by any other book. If you like my video, please follow my channel. Have a nice day.